Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malevsky, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat today is a very special guest. It's Arif Amamadov, who is the president and CEO of the U.S. division of RegulaForensics.com. That's R-E-G-U-L-A Forensics.com. Arif, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So you guys are in an area that's so important. In cybersecurity, we still care about physical security, access control, who's in the building, who's getting on the plane, and tell us what you make and how you solve some of these difficult problems. So in order to uh, give the overview, let me step back 30 years ago when we opened the company and we started a company as uh, manufacturing tools for the forensic document examiners to help them to analyze and detect the forgeries and the documents. Uh, later, we transfer into automated systems, such as passport scanners used at the border. When we scan document in uh, address or flag the problems, potential problems with the document, letting the officers to make a decision. Uh, later, all this knowledge, which we collected over 30 years on the algorithms and the methods of the detecting forgeries, we port into our mobile and uh, server side uh, tools, which allow you to uh, analyze scanners document or ca documents captured with your cell phone camera. So Arif, is this SDK available for Android and iPhone and does it allow you to use the camera on the phone to do an optical character recognition or anything like that? That is correct, yes. It is uh, Android and iOS uh, based SDKs. So you have a choose, uh, you have a choice of the platform. You can uh, create your own app using our SDK and utilize all this knowledge uh, into your own applications. That's fantastic. Now, uh, the kind of applications people might be building post COVID would be, you know, passport scanners or, you know, vaccine CDC card scanners or things like that in the works? Uh, yes. So uh, what COVID taught us in the past year that we can work remotely. Uh, so that's including the opening your bank accounts, opening your or, uh, or registering for certain services using the online uh, services. But the personal identification is still a critical uh, challenge because now you cannot be in person and present your document to the officer who is checking your credentials. You use your cell phone camera uh, to verify yourself or your, and your identity. So all these tools can help you or help the, our customers to identify the person and actually uh, do successful transactions without being uh, in, connected in person. I'm not sure if you can name your customer base in this area, but would companies like um, Jack Henry or those that, you know, the credit union companies that make mobile banking for credit unions, would they license your API to help enhance their ability to recognize people to open up a new account, for example? I would not name the commercial uh, customers. Yes, we active in the banking sector. That's all I can say. We're active in the hospitality sector, but we're also very active in the government sector. Uh, in the hospitality we, sector, how, how are you active there? What, what, what is it being used for there? Uh, the hotel registrations. Uh, people uh, people can re uh, use the mobile phone app to register themselves in the hotel and minimizing the interactions with the uh, cl front desk clerks. That's great. I've noticed these, you know, register and check out early uh, tablets and things. And I guess that's integrated with your technology. With some of those, yes. That Basically what, what happened, the technology was getting uh, uh, touchless even before the COVID times. What COVID did is actually elevated this on the next level. Uh, we, uh, we will not get rid of the physical documents, obviously, but we uh, definitely get in there to operate remotely or using the uh, mobile driver's licenses and, and so on. That's awesome. So regular forensics started out 30 years ago with, you know, innovative little microscopes to look at documents, um, identification tweaks or knowledge bases on how to know if this is a fraudulent passport or a fraudulent driver's license. All that technology has gone electronic with you know, 21 to who knows, you probably know more than I do, identifiers hidden on all these documents and they're all pretty much scannable with intelligent technology like yours. The next generation you're saying is because of COVID, we're going touchless. And so I could hold up my driver's license near a camera at a, an airport or at a hotel and it might check me in for my flight or my room. 
Uh, yes, and that's actually it's already uh, already be uh, being deployed uh, by some uh, some customers. We get some great feedback from them. We implement certain features, for example, like a, a zoom feature using the camera, uh, allowing to uh, maintain the two meter distance, and that was actually added. I think last July as a response of the COVID measures of the uh, social distancing. Uh, yeah. But uh, sorry, sorry, sorry for for jumping in. You put a very interesting point about 22 or 21 uh, security elements. Uh, if we talk in the history in uh, industry in general, that uh, most of the security features within the documents were uh, in special inks called UV sensitive ink. So if you go through the TSA, they use the UV flashlight uh, to look at those security features. But I see more and more uh, security features are put on the white light, uh, meaning that you can detect those security features uh, uh, with the cell phone. So it's not only us detecting, but the manufacturers is also moving to the uh, to the to this area as well. That's fantastic. So the whole industry is shifting to a contactless identity identity verification process and you're one of the market leaders in making that possible we uh, i would say that we are on the front lines and we are not following uh, where the technology goes uh, even though that statement is also correct but we actually work with the technology manufacturers the id manufacturers uh, who are actually creating this and we helping them to uh, to use to make their their tools useful. That's fantastic. So you've got physical um, identity forensic tools, checking driver's license, checking passports. You've been selling these for years. You've got an SDK that's more uh, innovative. Are there other things you see in your near future at regular forensics that's up and coming that you might want to share with our viewers? So we we expand some of the uh, additional uh, person verification tools. So we put uh, the face match and the liveness uh, security features. We had some uh, fingerprint uh, technology uh, to uh, to match the fingerprint with the what's stored on the document or in the records. Uh, however, it's just uh, it's either our own development or work in the, with the partnerships. But uh, what I can say to our all potential customers that we could be one stop uh, shop for many uh, personal identification technologies within their own app. That's great. So if somebody's doing SaaS, software as a service in the cloud, and they need identity management security, the old fashioned identity management was, you know, a username and a password, which is easily breached. If we go multi-factor authentication, maybe integrating your toolkit in a server side instead of in a client, might enable others to say, I want to see your driver's license or your company ID, you know, on screen when you're logging in. So I really know it's you. I know we haven't been breached. I would say we already have customers who is doing something like that. And we always welcome new customers. So yes, uh, you pretty much preach into the choir. Well, a lot of companies move into this direction and ex doing exactly what you just described. And since, you know, before COVID in 20, early to mid 2019, we were looking at 3% employees worldwide telecommuting. Today, I think we're up to 51% and it keeps growing every day. Pretty much most companies are making announcements that they don't mind employees working from home who aren't doing physical manufacturing uh, work or don't need to be in the office for logistics, which means there's gonna be a growth, explosive growth this year and thereafter in the need for, you know, 100% recognition of the identity of the individual as accessing company records, government records, medical records, whatever it is, we really need to know that it's really you. That is correct. And it will not go with the COVID goes out. Uh, it, 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 the, the, the business has changed. The, the way we go to the office has changed. Uh, so it will be more people working remotely. There will be people who will continue working remotely, even uh, we will be safe to go back to the offices. Uh, but uh, our tools helping them, and not only our tools, there's a lot of things on the market which allow uh, to, to authenticate, the, uh, authenticate the person, allow to work with, uh, uh, with, with those remote documents as you, or secure logins. And we are proud to be part of it and be on the front line of it. That's great. Arif, you have government customers all over the globe. 
Some of them you've, I think you've named on your website publicly. Can you just throw a few names at us of the types of government customers? Is it, you know, uh, registries of motor vehicles? Is it uh, the Pentagon? The kinds of customers? Who... We, we, we have, we have a, a DMV through uh, some of our integrators. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have United States Secret Service with some of our uh, hardware manufacturers. We have a, a, cust a Customs and Border Patro uh, Patrol uh, using, using our mobile uh, technologies. And actually, we weren't even named essential for some of those uh, contracts. You know, we have direct, direct contracts we have, which we have with the U.S. government. A uh, few European uh, governments, mostly those uh, applications are through the integrators. So, so as I mentioned before, someone is using us as a sub or as a toolkit to create their own applications to, uh, to give it to, uh, to their government contracts. Uh, we don't focus on the service and we let the people who is well established to provide such a services to handle it for us. So if someone were going to build an election system with, you know, a real ID, they would use your toolkit for the scanning and testing and certification of the identity of the individual. And it could be done contactless with the Zoom feature or the camera that you've created, which is really cool. And that's your toolkit, your proprietary stuff, but it might be some, you know, election company, Inc., you know, Diebold says, hey, we want to make a new, a new system or somebody else. They'd come to you as a system integrator, they'd write the app, wrap it around your technology, and they would sell it either direct or through their channel partners to state and local and federal government. Yes, we're technology insight. Uh, we're the guys who is running inside of that uh, of that box and not necessarily even regular, uh, regular logger is on that applications, but it's our technology. So regularforensics.com, it's regular identity uh, detection and forensics and analysis inside. You could say that. You could say uh, say that. Uh, so regularforensics.com, it's our website. We uh, have nine offices worldwide, uh, uh, common name Regula, uh, and those offices uh, is covering pretty much the entire world. That's awesome. Arif Mamadov, your headquarters in the U.S. is Reston, Virginia, correct? That is correct. Okay, great location. And you're again at regularforensics.com. Is there anything else you want to share with our viewers and listeners uh, that we might have missed? I would say uh, be safe, uh, be, uh, be healthy, don't be afraid to, life is going on, we help the technology, we'll make that world uh, safe, and uh, hopefully we'll all be back to the new normal uh, very soon. Arif Mamadov, President and CEO of Regular Forensics USA Division, great advice for our viewers and listeners. Be safe, be healthy, get back to, uh, you know, a new normal. And guess what? By being contactless for identity management, regular forensics is helping make that happen. So thank, thank you, you so much for a wonderful hot seat interview. And then come back next time for an exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. Thank you, Gary.